Combi boiler heating systems are at the top of the individual heating systems. In the first part of the heating systems made with the boiler, how the system is filled. Basically, we will learn how the water follows a path in the system, how the air is taken in the closed cycle. First, clean water from the city mains line passes through the water meter and starts to fill the domestic water pipes. It is important to note that only domestic water fills the system. In order to fill the domestic hot water, the water must pass through the boiler and fill the domestic hot water pipes. What is meant to be explained now is to show how the system is filled. We will not be able to use hot water because the boiler is not working yet. Secondly, we will need to fill the closed cycle heating line. To do this, we need to open the blue colored valve under the boiler. After the valve is opened, the clean water from the city network line passes through the boiler and starts to fill the heating system. Since the system is empty, it contains air. After the water starts to enter, the water starts to push the air towards the highest point because air is lighter than water. Air therefore starts to collect at the top of the radiator. The air collected at the top point does not allow the water to circulate in that area. Therefore, the upper part of the radiator does not heat up. In order for the water to circulate, the air inside the radiator must be removed. In order for the boilers to operate in a proper and reliable way, there must be approximately two bar pressure in the system. A radiator bleeder wrench or a screwdriver is used to remove air from the radiator. This is done from the opposite side of the radiator valve, located at the top of the radiator. By turning the radiator bleed switch, the closed heating system becomes open to the atmosphere. Thus, the air, which is lighter than water, moves away from the system and the heating system is completely filled with water. Since air comes out of the system, the system pressure will decrease again as seen on the manometer. The pressure is increased to 2 bar again by filling the system with water. After the system pressure increases to 2 bar again, the system filling valve under the boiler is closed. The heating system is now ready for operation. If you like the information I have shared, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. If you want to know more about all mechanical systems, including heating systems, you can contact me in the comments and email address on YouTube. I wish you good work.